Recycling. It is an attractive idea that has been propagated and promoted through advertising, media, and even in our classrooms for decades. But the reality of where our waste ends up is not quite as pretty. Of the 6.3 billion tonnes of plastic waste produced since the 1950s, only 9% has actually been recycled and another 12% incinerated. The rest has been dumped in either landfills or the natural environment. Let's start at the beginning of the chain, where households first dispose of their rubbish in preparation for collection. In 2017, the recycling rate for UK households was 45.7%, a small increase from the previous year. This amounts to 409 kilograms of recycling per person. After collection, our recycling is transported to a sorting centre where different plastics are categorised in preparation for the next stage. However, of the seven different types of plastic, five of them hardly ever get recycled, and the idea that plastic is collected, sorted, and regenerated into useful materials is far from the reality. After just a short use, 14% of plastic waste will be collected for recycling, but 2% will be recycled. This leaves 14% to be incinerated, 40% in the landfill, and a third of the waste polluting the environment. So how is this allowed to continue despite such glaringly obvious consequences to the natural environment? The answer lies in the industry that produces plastic and other materials. The retailers who sell it to us have spoon-fed us propaganda for years and years about the benefits of recycling because, quite simply, it keeps us buying. This is an idea that society wants to get behind because it gives us permission to indulge in our short-sighted consumer culture. The UK exports a whopping 60% of their recycled packaging, 40% of which used to be exported to China until they introduced restrictions. These new restrictions mean that the UK has to look elsewhere to dispose of their plastic, including Turkey, Malaysia and Poland. Now these countries just don't possess the waste management infrastructure to deal with the waste sustainably. In 2020, the UK exported 688,000 tonnes of discarded plastic packaging, a daily average of 1.8 million kilos. Only 486,000 tonnes were actually recycled in the UK. Instead of thinking on a global level, the UK views itself as an individual island with its own environmental standards. But you cannot just pass on the environmental damage when we are all part of the same ecosystem. The UK sent more plastic waste to Turkey in January 2021 than it did in the same month last year, and the figures are up from 12,400 to 14,500 tonnes. Unfortunately, whilst the UK sees cheap exporting as an economic opportunity, it is in actuality a huge environmental threat. So why does the UK export so heavily? Quite simply, there is little capacity for sustainable recycling because there is little investment. The fast growth of product consumption is not equal to waste management and there is not enough interest in generating long-term solutions. After all, it is far easier to put waste into a container for exporting than it is to spend money and time putting it into a processing plant. As long as money is prioritised over sustainability, the idea that our plastic is recycled into a new trainer shoe or an iPhone case will remain just that, an idea. UK recyclers only earn half of their subsidy for recycling in the UK, as only half of the materials are viable. Exporters, on the other hand, can take the whole tonne and ship it off for recycling abroad and receive their entire subsidy. Of course, recyclers are then going to lean towards exporting. If we want to see changes in the way our recycling is managed, the UK government needs to make it worthwhile for people to keep their waste in Britain. Individuals are made to believe that as long as we do our recycling, we can consume as much plastic as we want. Although it is the companies that have a lot to answer for, at an individual level, the best thing we can do for the environment is to start consuming more wisely. Purchases of the products you buy are not going to be recycled, because let's face it, they probably aren't. Our actions have an impact on the whole world, and shifting the problem to Turkey isn't going to change that.